Hey guys, now in this video, let's work with connection strings and let's deploy it in Azure portal. Now guys, in our local environment, that is in Visual Studio, connection strings are available in local settings.json file. That is in connection strings section. So for example, so guys, this is our function app and we are in this local settings.json file and observe this section, connection strings, right? So like this, we can have one or multiple connection strings. Now in this video, first we will understand how we can read this connection string in our Azure function that is in our C-sharp code. Now is important thing, when we deploy our function app in Azure portal, connection string that is connection string from this local settings file, it do not get deployed. And so as you can guess, we have to explicitly create connection string in our function app in Azure portal. And now let's actually see the demo. So again guys, we are in Visual Studio in our function app project and let's go to this function 2.cs. Now guys, first thing, we cannot read connection string from this local settings file something like this. See this line number 28. So this code will not work. So in order to read connection string from this local settings file, we have to make a few code changes. And now let's do that. So let's first open this program.cs file. And here I will say builder.configuration.addjson file. That is we are binding this local settings.json file. So that those connection string that is connection strings from this local settings file, they will be available in our configuration object. So again guys, don't worry, I will share this complete code on GitHub. Okay. And now let's save it. Let's go to this function 2.cs. Now guys, let's create a new function and let's assume that new function, it will work with our SQL connection string. Okay. So let me simply copy this code and here I will say work with SQL DB connection string. So I will just copy this. Uh, I will rename the method name as same and I will change the route to connection string slash get SQL connection string. So obviously guys in real world this will some meaningful function where you will retrieve this connection string and you will and you may fetch the data from that database or you may save the data in that database but obviously here we are keeping it really simple okay. Now let me just delete this. And now guys, to read connection string, we have to inject i configuration. So here I will say private i configuration and I will say underscore configuration. And obviously we have to modify the constructor as well. i configuration configuration. And here I will say underscore configuration is equal to configuration. And now to read this connection string, I will say var SQL connection string is equal to underscore configuration dot get connection string. And to this, obviously, we have to provide this value that is this connection string key name and here i will simply return this sql connection string and now let's run our project and yes we can see that new azure function so let's copy this url and if i hit that url and yes, it works. Okay. Now let's stop this execution and let's deploy our function app in Azure portal. So right click on this project, publish and here I will say publish. And the publish has been successful and let's cross check in Azure. 
so let's open our function app so we are under overview under functions here let's go down and yes we can see this newly added function let's open it and now let's test it so i will say get function url let's copy this url that is the default function key and let's hit it in new tab and see function app has been successful but we have not received any response so again as you can guess it is because this connection string has not been deployed in azure portal and again we have to explicitly create it so let's copy it let's click on our function app now on the left hand side let's go down under settings environment variables connection strings and here let's add it add sql connection string and let's provide the value so i will say this is explicitly created connection string and let's select type so i will say sql server and apply apply confirm and now let's run our function again so we'll say refresh and see now it's working and we have correctly retrieved our connection string so that's it guys for this video thanks thanks for listening